Hi, this is Ferris J and this video is all about problems and solutions. I've talked about this in my blog post this week and I've given some great tips on how to become solution orientated and this video is a tap along to help you if you have a problem and you're not able to easily focus on the solution, you haven't yet found the solution. And I'm going to give you a quick bit of background on how I deal with problems and find solutions. I'm very inspired by the work of Abraham Hicks and their teachings say that there is a solution to every problem and that when you're focused on the problem, you're not able to access the solution. You can't be in the negative energy of the problem and the positive energy of the solution at the same time. So that's where this video comes in to help us get from the negative energy of the problem to the positive energy of the solution. And when I tap, I sometimes use some of that Abraham Hicks terminology. So there's a term called the vortex, and Abraham says that all the solutions are in the vortex. When Abraham talks about the vortex, he means this vortex of creation where all these ideas that we have all our dreams are. So when I say the vortex, that's what I mean. I might tap and say the solutions are in the vortex. If you want more information, Google it. So we'll begin now and bring to mind a problem that you have, maybe something you haven't found a solution for, something that's frustrating you, it's bugging you, and really tune into it. Get a sense of it and rate the intensity of it from 0 to 10, with 0 being not an issue and 10 being as big as it can be. Once you have your number, write it down and we'll come back later and we'll check to see if the tapping has helped change that number. If you haven't tapped with me before, it's very easy. You just follow what I do and say what I say after me. Okay, so we're going to begin with a setup statement on this, the karate chop point. Even though I have this problem, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this problem, and I haven't been able to find a solution yet, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this problem, and I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what the solution is. I'm open to allowing the solution to come. And now we'll go to the points. And you tune into your own problem as we're tapping. This problem. I have this problem. And it's driving me nuts. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know how to get out of this situation. I don't know how to deal with this problem. And I'm all caught up in the energy of this problem. I think about it so often. I wonder what to do about it. I worry about what will happen if it doesn't get resolved. I'm so focused on this problem. I'm giving this problem so much attention. I'm problem orientated. I can't get my mind off this problem. This problem. What if I could change that? What if I could let go of focusing on the problem? Because after all, I do believe there is a solution to every problem. So what if there is a solution to mine? What if I could open myself up to that solution? What if it's possible for me to allow that solution in? I'm willing to focus on the solution now. I'm willing to let go of the energy of the problem. I'm willing to let go of the worrying. I'm willing to let go of all the frustration. I'm willing to refocus. 
and willing to be open to the solution. As Abraham says, the solution is in the vortex. So maybe I can just get into the vortex, which just means chilling out, which just means not worrying about it, which just means being easier about it all, which just means trusting that it could be okay. I believe the, that the solutions are in the vortex. I'm willing to get in the vortex. Whatever way, I'm willing to allow the solutions to come. I'm willing to relax enough to allow the solutions to come. I'm willing to trust that they're going to come. I'm willing to become solution oriented. Take a deep breath. Rate your number again on the scale of 0 to 10. I hope you enjoyed tapping along with me. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. I do regular videos. If you haven't visited the blog post, the link is below. Visit me there and leave a comment. How did you find this video? How do you find solutions in your life? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much. Goodbye.